All right, y'all, we are back here. I got my pan here, let me get it sprayed here. A little casserole dish here. And look at these sweet potatoes, see this? Look at that, see how pretty and orange they are? That's what you get, y'all, when you bake them in the, when you bake them off in the skin, that's what you get right there. So, anyway, now, let's get them sliced up here. Now, what I like to do, I like to slice, you can dice these, y'all, or you can do what I'm about to do here. You can slice them. I just slice them just like this. Shingle them in the pan really nice right here. The other one here. You know, Thanksgiving, you want them to look pretty. I just take a knife, lay them right up in the pan, just like that. Just kind of mash them down just a little. This one here. You can, some people dice theirs. Like I say, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Kind of push them down in the platter, just like that. See that? Can y'all see this? Oh, yeah, I can see this. Okay, let's get them all put in the pan here. Slice. I usually do about an inch thickness. Like an inch thick thickness on them. What's good about this, you can do this step and the glaze, what I'm about to show you, put it in your refrigerator. Thanksgiving morning, Christmas morning, Whatever morning it is on the holiday, I just throw it in the oven. Now one more here, y'all. See that? Like I say, your people, your family, they're going to they eat with their eyes. But they don't look good. People ain't going to eat it. People ain't going to eat it at all. Okay. We got this done. See that? Pretty, that's, that's so simple. Simple, simple, simple. Simple, uh... Move y'all up just a little simple uh candy yam right there. Now, we're gonna go to the good part here. I'm gonna heat my pot up over here. We're gonna move y'all over here. There we go. We're gonna do some some sauce here, y'all. Alright. Now in this pot here, I'm gonna add some butter. Sugar. We're gonna melt all this, melt all this stuff together, y'all. Let me get my spoon here. Brown sugar. I use light brown sugar. Let me stress that, cause the dark just makes them. I don't know. The dark just doesn't make it look nice, and uh, it, it just doesn't look nice to me. I like the brown sugar concept to it. I'm making a lot of glaze, y'all. A cinnamon and nutmeg and my my secret ingredient here put that in there get all that stuff out of there y'all there we go secret ingredient a lot of people are having a hard time finding this I bet it's me I bet it's me the word is out People buying up all the butterscotch because they know the old school sweet potatoes is coming up. Now, all I'm going to do, y'all, this is how simple this is. We're going to let this melt together. I don't want it to boil or nothing like that. I just want this all to melt together. The sugar and the butter, butterscotch all come together as brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters of the culinary world. As soon as this all melt together and that sugar dissolve, we're going to take this, y'all, and we're going to pour it over the top of this uh, sweet potato, put it in the oven by 15, 20 minutes, let the sweet potatoes get hot, and we're going to have us some glazed sweet potatoes. So we'll be right back, y'all, when this melt can come together. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Look at this glaze here. I can turn the fire off. I got a little bitty piece of butter that needs to melt, but the residual heat will melt that you don't want to boil it y'all all you want to do all you're doing is melting the sugar getting everything combined see it has no sugar uh granules and the brown sugar that's it that's all you want let me show you how to do it 
show y'all here. People don't be believing me. People don't be believing me. See this? What you want? See that nice, smooth, smooth glaze, y'all. Now, we going over here to these candy yams sitting over here. They ain't candy yams yet, but they about to be. That glaze we just made, y'all, we're going to go right over the top of it, just like this. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Damn it, that ain't no goodness right here, y'all. You want to get all that goodness out there. You don't want to leave nothing in the pot. Now, I'm going to cover this up when I bake it because I don't want this to brown anymore, y'all. I'm going to put foil on this. I'm going to put it in the oven about 15 to 20 minutes. I want my sweet potatoes to come back up to temperature. Now, like I was telling y'all, you can do this the night before up to this step right here. Put it in the refrigerator. And in the morning, when it's time to bake your Thanksgiving dinner, put it in the oven. It's going to take long. It's going to probably take you about... 30 minutes or so because it's gonna come right out of the refrigerator. But uh yeah. And if you like, if you're the marshmallow type, you wanna put marshmallows on. I'm not a marshmallow theme, but some people like marshmallows on their uh sweet potatoes. Some people like pecans on there. You wanna put some pecans on there? Hey, make it your own. Do what like, do what you like. I'm just showing you the canvas. So anyway, I'm putting this in the oven 30 minutes. Not 30 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and we'll be right back when they're ready. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Look at that golden goodness, y'all. See that? Thing was bubbling. It was nice and bubbly. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. Look at this here. Look at that nice glaze in there, y'all. I'm telling you. This is amazingly good. But what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to step off, do my world-famous YouTube thumbnail. And when we come back, we gonna taste us a little plate of these, and we gotta show y'all how good and yummy and ugh, indescribable how good they are. So we will be right back, and I'm gonna have me a nice plate of these and uh, be in candy yam heaven. We'll be right back. All righty, y'all. We are back for the final segment here. Let me get me a choice of weapons here, which is a fork. Look at this, y'all. Look at that there. Look at that. Nice glaze just flowing over there. It's not runny. You ever had sweet potato where the glaze is like water? This is not. See how it just set on top of that, the sweet potato? And it's all the glaze is very flavorful. I hate a watered down candy yam where the glaze is so watery. It's just not the good evening experience. You want you want glaze on every bite, y'all. Of course, the potatoes are perfectly cooked, tender. Because I baked them. Not boiled. Look at that, y'all. Give y'all a little close up here. Look at that. Let's go in, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling you, that's a game changer. It's a bus guy. And baking the fake sweet potato. Mm. Nice and sweet. Like some people tell me, this is dessert. And yes, y'all, I served this at the place I retired from. They used my recipe. Yep. And uh, Thanksgiving time, we ordered the big cases <laughs> of butterscotch. They come in the big, huge cans. We don't get the little jars like I have. Yeah. That's a staple. Y'all yeah, can eat this whole thing, but I got to have dinner here in a second. I don't ruin my appetite. Look at this here, y'all. Mm. Mm. Wow. Game changer. Game changer, y'all. So, anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022 helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, 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 blessed Thanksgiving. Love y'all. Bye.